Hey everyone, it's the Gadget Guru. Um, this is a video I want to do today. I was talking to um, one of my subscribers, and he was sending me some messages and stuff. We were communicating back and forth, and you know, I wanted to give him a shout out because, like, I really didn't think of this video until I started talking to him. Um, and his username is Gunblade12345. Um, I'll put a link to his channel below. But what we were talking about was he started PMing me about my video in which I said that Konami got the summoning curse ruling wrong. And he was stating his point of view and I was stating mine and we were debating back and forth for 10, 20 messages. I don't even know. It was way too many for me to count pretty much. But we were debating back and forth over the rulings on summoning curse and whether they were right or wrong. Um, and through this we figured out that we both agree, we both agree to each other's points but we each, we each believe differently because we were taught differently. Um, I believe when it comes to rulings, there is no right and wrong. There's just not. There's how the ruling works, but it's not the right way. Because every person, judge, not judge, head judge, doesn't matter. Every person is taught rulings and understands rulings a different way than the next person. So, two people can look at a situation and come up with completely different results. You know, like the perfect example is the prime material and bad reaction to Samochi Loop. Um, about, I want to say a year ago, there was no definitive ruling on it, and when it would happen at tournaments, you know, one head judge would look at the situation and say, if prime material is on the field, you can't activate bad reaction because you're forcing an infinite loop. That's what they would say. Another judge would say, if prime material is on the field and bad reaction is on the field, any card that inflicts damage or gains life wins can't be activated because you're forcing an infinite loop. Other people would say, it's just an infinite loop, you both lose because you made an unbreakable game state. You know, there were so many different opinions from head judges, even. Head judges, who are supposed to know every ruling in the book, don't always get every ruling right, because when they read the effects, their brain processes it, process it differently than other people's. That's why a lot of times when we get rulings from Konami ruling department or whatever, we look at the ruling and go, that doesn't make any freaking sense at all. Because they, they think differently than we do. So, one person may read something and go, okay, that does that, that, and that. Another person may read it and go, no, it doesn't. It does this, this, and this. And that's what was happening. Um, it's, it happens a lot, too. So, like, like I said, when it comes to rulings, I don't believe there's a right and a wrong. I believe there's opinions, and then there's the way it is. Now, the way it is doesn't have to be always right. I've seen Konami put out many rulings, and within a week of that ruling being put out, reverse it. Take it back and put a new one out. Completely different ruling. And I actually, they actually messed me up one time, because I went online, I went on the Konami website, well not Konami at that time, it was UDE, but I went under the official rulings, and I'm trying to remember what card it was. I don't remember what card it was. I think it was Starlight Road, but I'm not specifically sure because I don't remember the exact issue with the card. But the card, yeah, it was Starlight Road. It was Starlight Road. And Starlight Road had a can special summon a Stardust effect. Well, they ruled that you can't Stardust like Snipe Hunter or whatever. You can't Stardust a Snipe Hunter or a Magical Dimension because they say it's a chance. It's not a guaranteed destruction. It's a can destroy. You know, it's it's not guaranteed, so Stardust can't do anything against it. When Starlight Road first came out, they put a ruling out for Starlight Road. This was official. They put a ruling out for Starlight Road. And it said that you cannot Starlight Road um, or you, you could not oppression a Starlight Road because there was no guarantee that Starlight w Road would special summon a Stardust. It was a could, a possible, a maybe. So it wasn't definitive, so you couldn't oppression it. And I said, okay. A week later, and I printed this ruling out. Like, I printed it out, because I, I used to print out rulings for my deck for when I went to tournaments, because the regionals up here, I mean, uh, we have okay judges, but some of our judges were not that great, so if our good judges weren't there, I liked having my own rulings on me just to be safe. So I printed them all out. I brought them with me. I went to the regionals. During the regionals, I went Starlight Road. My opponent went uh, Royal Oppression. I'm like, you can't do that. He's like, why not? I'm like, because it can special summon. It's not guaranteed. He's like, he's like, no, it, I think you can do it. I'm like, no, you can't. So 
I showed him the ruling. He's like, who didn't mind if I asked the judge? I'm like, no, that's fine. I got the ruling off of the, you know, the official ruling right here. Go ahead, call a judge. So he calls the judge. The judge looks at the ruling and says, looks good to me, but let me go ahead and make, check on the computer to make sure. He goes on the computer, pulls up the exact same page I had, the exact same page, and they changed the ruling to you can royal oppression at Starlight Road. And the judge came over. And he's like, when did you print this off? And I, and I, like, I had the date on it and everything. Like, I had all the stuff on it. So he knew it wasn't faked. None of it was faked. He knew that. So he looked at it and he looked at it, looked at his computer and said, well, I hate to tell you this, but they changed the ruling on you. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So he showed me. And sure enough, they changed the ruling. And three people, three people that day uh, had learned that ruling about Starlight Road because we were using Starlight Road because it was a really good card back then. Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute. All that BS was running around, so we were using Starlight Roads, and Black Roads was going crazy. So we were all using Starlight Road because of the ruling, you couldn't do anything to it. Like, you couldn't oppression it or anything. And then, sure enough, they come up. Like, that, I lost that regional horribly because they ruled you can't activate Starlight Road while Fossil dies on the field. Oh, face palm. Like, I cannot tell you how badly that ruling messed up my deck. Like, I looked at my deck and I was like, well, I'm screwed. I'm running. Three Royal Oppressions, three Fossil Dinas, and three Starlight Roads. <laughs> I mean, this is this day's not going to end well, and it didn't. Like I, I got, I got raped because like I couldn't. My deck didn't work anymore because Konami reversed their ruling, and they do this. Like it's not uncommon. They make a ruling, and then they're like, "Well, wait, this this ruling isn't exactly right. It isn't exactly correct. So let's fix it." And they are like, they don't come out and announce it, but they do change rulings often. I mean, they change rulings quite a bit. Um, usually when they announce one, they keep it if they can, but, like, this was one of the biggest arguments, like, when they changed this ruling, people got all over up in Konami's face on this, because they said, you cannot start as Dragon a, um, Snipe Hunter, or a Blind Destruction, or a Magical Ex Dimension, whatever, because it says, it's a chance effect. You can. It's possible. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. So they said you can't Stardust it. The funny thing is, why is Starlight Road different? You can Oppression it. You can't play it while Fossil Dine is on the field, etc., etc., etc. Solemn Warning. You can do all this to Starlight Road when it's a can. And this was brought up to Konami. And, <laughs> and Konami made a bunch of stupid comments about it saying, well you know, blah, 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 and then this, and this, and this, and apparently the OCG rulings are this, or this. It, like, they made up a bunch of BS excuses, and I never really under, like, I don't, the last excuse I heard from Konami um, was on a forum site, and it was pretty bad. Like, it was pretty horrible. Like, I can't remember exactly what it was, but they basically said, um, Starlight Road was treated differently than Stardust Dragon, because Stardust Dragon is a monster effect and Starlight Road is a trap. I'm not sure how that had to do anything to do with the, you know, ruling, but it sounded good on paper, I guess. I don't know. But, um, what I'm saying is, you know, there, but my original point, there is no, I'm right, you're wrong. There is none of that. I mean, you can be correct on a ruling, but understand it's because you read the ruling. I mean, everybody understands things differently. So, just understand that, you know? Next time someone comes up to you and says, well, doesn't this work this way? Don't be like, what are you, a noob? Are you an idiot? You re you retard. Get out of here. Don't be. D don't do that. Be nice. Be like, no, no, no. This is how it works. Because everybody's taught differently. Everybody thinks differently. And with all the different thinking and... I'm not... I'm going to say this right now. And I'm going to try and be nice. Because I don't want to, like, offend anyone. But... Every single person out there I've talked to thinks that they could be a judge. That, that's what they tell me. They're like, oh yeah, I could be a judge. I could be a judge. And I'm like, no, you can't. I mean, a lot of people understand the basic rulings, but when you start getting into the finer details, you lose them. A level one judge is nothing. Understand that now. Telling me, because <laughs> I have people telling me this on a daily basis, I passed a level one certification. So you just told me you've been playing the game for at least a month. That's all you told me. Because a level 1 certification, unfortunately, is a piece of trash. It's not useful. 
Now, if you go to a regionals and pass a level two, then come talk to me. Then we're talking, because that's actual rules. Level one is just, are you retarded or do you know what you're doing? That's all it is. So, you know, there is no right and wrong. There's just different understanding. So, understand that. Be nice about it. And this is Degadjuru, and I'll catch you all later.